All right. We're talking about the do's and don'ts of uh, social networking for small to medium businesses. And this is basically my perspective and my two cents in six minutes and 40 seconds. So how many of you have engaged in social networking? Raise your hand. OK, so this applies to both groups. So hopefully you'll get something out of this. All right, we're going to define social networking first so we all know we're on the same page here, which it'll come. All right, um, it's basically a, a group of individuals, organizations that all have a common interest, friendship, whatever. Um, all this wonderful stuff, but they're connecting via the internet. In respect to this presentation, we're talking about how to grow your business and your personal connections via these sites, these social networking sites via the web. Hello. All right, so basically we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts really, really quickly, and uh, hopefully in a logical sense. So first, we're going to talk about the first don't. And the fact is, is don't wait. So I'm just going to keep on going because I'm ahead. So don't wait. Uh, don't wait for uh, something to be genius or wonderful, earth-shattering um, in order to start this, this, this engagement with social networking. So if you haven't done it, get online and do it. Otherwise, you're going to be missing out on some big potential. So with that concept, do, okay, do pick a couple of sites and dabble with them. This next slide is going to show you 15 of the most popular sites based on traffic. Facebook has over 550 million unique visitors a month. So, okay, great, dabble. Take two of these, maybe Facebook, LinkedIn, those are probably the most popular, and get a profile up there and start playing. Okay, and that's basically the idea. So don't wait is the first thing. Then, but the most important thing is don't bite off more than you can chew. Start small, learn and grow. It takes time to get the experience to figure out what works and what doesn't. So get on as quickly as possible because by the time it, you, you have to be there, it's too late. Everybody's already beyond you and it's gonna to take too much time to do. So if, the, if something backfires, the key thing is you wanna be able to respond immediately. So um, do develop a manageable social networking plan. The key is come up with a um, content calendar come up with some kind of a plan as to how often you're going to manage this. Do it in such a, a format that it's not going to overwhelm you, that um, you're going to be able to maintain it and not get frustrated. So the key we don't want to do, though, is we don't want the, dart, the dartboard approach. A lot of people take this approach to marketing. Not a good idea. What that means is that you're taking a lot of tactics and throwing darts at a board and seeing what works. The fact is, if you have a strategy, it's much more effective. And we want you to place that strategy on your social networking plan as well. So we're going to ask you to also integrate the social networking plan into your overall business plan and marketing plan. The key is your social networking activities should support your marketing initiatives and efforts. So you want to keep doing that. It's not a standalone marketing solution that's going to save you know, your business and everything like that. But the fact is it's supposed to complement everything else that you're doing. So choose those social networking sites very, very wisely. Don't, uh, once you're up, actually up online and you've got a whole bunch of pages, don't select all copy and paste. Not all uh, networking spaces are created equal, nor should they be treated as such. Communication that happens with your family at your dinner table is very different than the communication that should happen in a business room with your potential client or your boss. Treat social networking sites the same way. Commit to each environment individually and manage them accordingly. Facebook's a little bit more personal, a little bit more casual. LinkedIn's a little bit more business savvy and a little bit more professional level. So treat the communication and everything that you do in those spaces appropriately. Well, my example was you wouldn't take your yellow page ad and put it on a 30 second commercial on TV. It wouldn't be using the medium to its strength. So the other key thing, don't set your expectations too high. Not everybody hits the big silver bullet the second they go on. So you'll be sorely disappointed if you think that you're going to put a YouTube video up and you're going to get 8 million page views. It doesn't really work that way. It, it takes a little bit longer to kind of infiltrate the system. So the key is, though, is that social networking is very transparent. You've got to be real. You've got, got to be authentic. So you'll be exposed immediately if you try to be something that you're not. And they'll call you on it. Everybody else will. So make sure you don't do that in this space. And the other thing, too, is your clients are looking for information about you to determine their buying habits and, and reasons for buying your stuff. So make sure that everything is cool. All right. Don't preach and just talk about yourself because even in a networking situation face-to-face, -face, it's really boring and you kind of turn people off. Don't do that in, their, in, in this space either. And I also have a note. Also, don't talk about politics or things that are, are pleasurable to you unless that is your business because it can you know, backfire on you as well. Um, do engage in two-way conversations. This is a personal thing, okay? Listen to people, respond, enhance the conversation. Don't just push stuff out there that's garbage. Um, and the key, too, is listening, learning, and responding. That's what this whole thing is about. So you're going out there trying to research. You want to hear what people are saying. 
it's a conversation that we're trying to engage in using this medium, not just push. And the other thing too, don't get too creative, careless, or personal. Social networking has a big bite. This is uh, United, a guy who broke his guitar on United and United didn't respond well. He made a song in like the first two months of this, it had over eight million page views. So what is said by you or about you can come back and bite you for the rest of your life. So once it's out there, you have no control. And the key here is once you're in this space, always continuously measure and reevaluate. It might not be the right space for you. You might need more of a niche group. You might need something that uh, speaks on a different level. So you want to sit here and figure out what is the best space, and the only way to do that is to get there and experience it. So here's my two cents. Here we go. Start now, don't wait. Plan a strategy that supports your other marketing initiatives. Develop a social networking plan for execution. Pick a couple of sites and start to start with. Build your profiles. Listen, learn, and apply in everything that you do. Um, measure and evaluate and adjust accordingly. So the key is to just get out there and start doing some stuff. So here's my idol, Vince Lombardi. The difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack of will. This isn't rocket science. It's pretty easy stuff. It just takes time and commitment. So there's our will. And Vince Lombardi's our dude. So there is your social networking moments.